Good Sunday morning, everybody. Sunday morning at 8.08 a.m. Tim, what are you doing? It's 8 o'clock on Sunday. You're still playing this broken-ass mod at 8 o'clock on Sunday? Absolutely. But why am I awake so early instead of sleeping in my bed till the rough time of about noon to 2 p.m.? I got plans today. Today is a birthday celebration for one of my uh, friends here. I don't, I don't want to call her a good friend. I call her a fr just a friend. Pre pretty cool girl. Not going to lie. Just don't really associate with her much. Or talk to her much why you know he's just a uh, awkward boy yeah basically but known her for a few years really cool just you know one of those friends i don't talk to much which i should do more of but i got invited to a uh, birthday thing today i'm like you know what this is a good chance to actually connect and let the person know hey you're my bud thanks for inviting me we should chat every now and then we're gonna be going to the las vegas luxor the esa esports something arena the s is for something of course uh for the rainbow six siege minor uh, finals today. It's gonna be great. Then we're gonna get some sushi afterwards. So I'm just giving you like the run by of like what's going on in my day here. Uh, also, I'm checking my Discord to see I'm not sitting AFK and there. My friends awkwardly are listening to me talk about my day. Okay, we're good. Uh, we're gonna play this broken character just because it's easy to sort of like chat and go. Like the consensus for this character is he's strong. It is very strong. Give me a rare card. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> are you surprised, Tim? That's a good card. Yeah, I know. I knew what I did. Let's go about that. There's a lot of things going on in my life that I didn't mention on Friday, just because I didn't think to mention it, I suppose, is the way to phrase that. Um, which we can discuss now. Biggest thing is piece being, um, it's a work-related piece, actually. And it's not like a negative work-related piece. Not that I've been negative about work ever in my life and have, like, honest criticism. That's besides the point. It's actually, um, a statement regarding a open position one of my coworkers told me about, and she was like, I'm pissed you have not applied for this position you should do it because xyz reasons and you know the reasons being fair yeah i mean i didn't know about it because i was just too busy doing my own job but yeah you just spruce up the resume and apply for that it's a 50 50 on if i really want to do it it's just i know i can for the some of the parts i understand i'll be able to do but uh, i don't know we will see i'm all for applying for something that you know makes my life better and easier but, you know, I shouldn't say better and easier, but this absolutely, like, goes exactly against that grain, because it, you know, it's a promotion. It's going to be a, a more challenging piece of work, which is fine, because, like, that's how you become an adult. But that, you know, this is, I'm just very weird about things. I need to get prodded in the right direction. Like, even when I started working at the uh, power company three years ago, like, within the first few days, I'm like, I don't know. I was, like, talking to my mother. I'm like, I don't know if this working thing for is for me. And then she gave me this look like, shut up. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's fair. But it's it's sort of like, yeah. I don't know if this promotion thing is going to be for me either. Because although, you know, I read the descriptions and my coworkers like, you literally do this, like, on a frequent basis more than half some of the people around here. I think you should do it. Part of me sits, like, you know, there's a deep-seated anxiety in me that's like, yeah, but... What if there's a day someone asks me a question and I don't know the answer? Then I'm gonna look like I don't know what I'm doing. And then, you know, to her response, she's like, Yeah, but that's like a lot of the people right now anyway. And I'm like, you know, that's a fair point. But like, I don't want to be a lot of people. I want to be the one you can rely on. Somebody to lean on. You know, like the song, right? I, I wasn't gonna do the tone for that right. I know it sounded really bad how I said it, but like, that was, that was the point. It was gonna be like, you know, referencing this, somebody to lean on. That's the right tone for it. So, um, I'm gonna apply for it. More to just, like, sort of do the interview and, like, get the experience there and understand, um, what it will entail, but, I don't know. Like I said, I need prodding to do these sort of things, and I hear this, and I'm like, ah, but, like, I'm not that good, and it's like, but who, if I don't do it, will someone else that's not as good do it? And it's like, yeah, that's fair, I'm like, I don't know, that's not really fair to say, but at the same time, it kind of is, because, like, if you know you can do it, you see there's a conundrum in my head. Basically, I just need to get over myself and be like, just do it. Find out if you can do it, that's good. If you can't, then guess what? Learn fast. And, you know, I went to college. If there's one thing college taught me how to do, it's taught me how to learn. We can learn how to... Oh, fuck. College didn't teach me how to do that either, by the way. Did you teach yourself? <laughs> no, I was busy studying. I went to the UNLV. There was no partying going on at UNLV. It was only education in the esports arena. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm gonna put the cloud control on this guy. That damage is gonna amp up over time. So uh, that's a work-related piece. Uh, you know, and then you got like the hey, what about like the negative work-related pieces? Why, why even bother talking about negative work-related pieces? 
I already know things are very rough. Eventually they will get better, but like as it stands, this just is just the way it is. I got a $25 Amazon gift card for my work, and you know, it's a nice gesture. Uh, the gesture that came with it was like, you know, hey, thanks for all the hard work. Please, you know, accept this gift card for the tough times ahead. It, you know, there's there's a cynical part of me, and like, you know, an ungrateful part of me in the back of my head that wants to say one thing. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a gift, it's a gesture that's nice. Uh, all I'm saying is, um, you know, to be fair, and not like jabbing at my job, but like, a bonus is nice too. <laughs> but I know we don't directly have control over that, so a $25 gift card is fine, but still, like... Some people in the world, when, you know, they do a good job, they get a pat on the back and a bonus, I get a $25 gift card. Which, you know what? As a millennial, I can't complain. I can't complain at all, because I'm gonna buy some Adrenas with that. Toxic smoke screen. Nah. Stop the heart. Nah. Summon undead. Yeah. And again, I don't want to make it sound like I am ungrateful, because it is still a very... It's a generous gift. It's just... <sighs> Man. There are parts of... There are some days, and you know, it's fair to say, like, when you go to work, and you're like, is this what I'm going to be doing the rest of my life? The answer is probably no. You got to figure out that path somehow, but, like, I, I don't think too hard on, like, my work-related situation, because I realize without my current job, no one else was hiring me anyway. Tim, I thought you had these great acolytes. I thought you were... You know, magna cum laude graduate from the UNLV business class. You're absolutely right, I was. <laughs> magna cum laude is a very high GPA, and I don't care if I missed it by 0.004%. I round that shit in my heart, and if any employer ever tells me that's not the case, well, you know what? Technically, you're right, but because I missed one question on the online dance exam, I don't think I could be criticized for that. I think I did my dues. But it doesn't matter if, like, your degree is in nothing, and that's when I got my degree in, it's nothing. Business administration management. It's a kick in the face, too, because, oh, UNLV. Lo I, I love UNLV, but I hate it, but not as much as I hate UNR, just because I'm supposed to hate UNR. It, it, I've never understood, like, the whole high school rivalry thing. I understood the college one just because, well, you're a little bit more invested because you pay for it. That's how I see it. Um, hold the phone. Eh, eh. Yeah, you do this one. Uh, you're a little more invested because, again, you, you literally do pay for it. But I'd be a lying if I said UNLV didn't do me dirty sometimes, i.e. a lot of the time. Because there was a point where, um, I remember, I vividly, with a capital V, remember, I was like three-fourths, seven-eighths, nine-tenths, whatever like close number analogy you want to use to explain the situation. Where I was that close to just, you know, graduating, and then I get an announcement for one of the classes, they're like, oh hey! We set up an HR major, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? The one thing that, you know, I could actually do and within a reasonable time frame, and that I kind of enjoy, I don't know, the whole HR is like, you enjoy doing HR? You're basically like the villain, right? It's like, well, get in line, I guess. Literally, like, the one thing I was like, yeah, I would do HR. That sounds great. Like, it's an applicable skill. You could say I have HR experience going into a workforce. So you can be looking at, like, some, you know, low-level HR person and then build up from there. Or you can get the degree that says you got a degree in management. What does that mean? Fuck all. And then it's like, yeah, by the way, this uh, new major's up. If you want to restart your entire career, you could do so now. And I'm like, dude, fuck off. I'm, like, 22, 23 at this point. Like, why? Why? It, it, oh man, I keep thinking about that again, that does still burn me a little bit. But hey, what can you do, other than cry? And did I cry? No, I, I just- I didn't cry, I was just like... Very disappointed, I'm just like, this is... Just wrong place, wrong time. Had I been born a year later, two- okay, I guess three years later, that'd be different. But at the same time there as well, it's like, yeah, that's not a... A very good way to look at it either, so it's just kind of like, yeah, that sucks. And now I have this degree that doesn't really do much for me, but that's fine. This, this one's supposed to turn into like a harp on myself situation or um, video today. It's just a thought that came in my head. I think the Lich is better. Random Undead could, could give me block. But I think we'll take the consistent uh, seven Smackaroosies there. HP's getting low. Listen, if you're here to we'll focus on the Necromancer gameplay, I'm gonna let you know right now, we're gonna win. Like, no holds bars, we're gonna win. That was gonna be like, wow, that was a good run. You listen to me ramble on, it's gonna be fun, great, it's excellent. Oh yeah, another update, and related to the, um, edited video side. I'm still editing it. In fact, part of the reason why I didn't do a video yesterday, on top of just, like, chilling out, being lazy, enjoying my Saturday, is I spent a good part of that day editing the video, and it's still, I, I'm editing this video a lot because the content that I spoke on is very dry, some of the reactionary pieces are kind of entertaining, so we're, we're doing that just so we can, um, <clears throat> again, test some editing skills, and I don't think it's that bad, it's just... The dialogue is not the best, it's just very, like, matter-of-fact. 
Deal 7 damage... 7 damage times the amount of unique debuffs on the target. I don't know. That sounds cool, but I don't think I have, like, a super debuff deck. I got poison. I got negative energy. That's all we got going on right now. I'll take a blood shield. Yeah, TLDR and like the, you know, edited video that I mentioned on Friday, it's still coming. And it'll still be coming. And it won't stop coming, and it won't stop coming. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Finger of Death. That's a move in Dota, if I'm not mistaken. Negative energy shield. That is actually amazing. For a variety of reasons. Gives you negative energy, gives you a block in the process. Like, that's extremely good. We accept those. Let's go ahead and summon a random undead. That's the guy we want. A Death Knight is excellent. Five damage, five block. The value on that card is just insane. Summon another guy. Gobble up on the block. He's never going to get through this, and we're just doing ship damage all the way to the bank. Negative energy. Ooh. What? A win attacked. Okay. So it's slightly worse than I was thinking, but it's still excellent, dude. Like, absolutely excellent. No. Okay. Okay, so you can do a, a debuff spread, which is cool. I think we'll just settle for some more blockage. Against this guy, a lot of blocks, not a bad idea either. Tim, are you gonna rest? Dude, listen. Is that even worth it? Eh, I don't think so. If you're blocking against, or if you're resting on this character, I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't play Slay Aspire. Okay, that's a little mean, but. This, this guy's pretty easy. Like, I'm not... There's not even, like, a fear in my heart. You're so supreme, Snake Eater. It's just that easy. Like, I already got 14 poison and playing a potion in one card. And to be fair, yeah, you could do that with the silent as well. But, like, did ya is the thing? Or the question? And the answer is no. I'm gonna go about my business here. Just just look at him. He's already up to 15 to smack a Rooney. We'll mitigate half of that. We'll mitigate all that. We'll just mitigate everything. He's going to give himself a negative energy level. His attack's hidden for beans. Look at this. His beat. Look at that. He doesn't even get to play the game. He's going to do four damage. I can actually mitigate all of it if I wanted. I'm not going to. I'm going to, actually, just so I can assert dominance and show how slow rolling this guy actually is. And how powerful the character is. Sorry, I hit the mic, by the way. I, I don't know the proper way to put the boom up to get this where... Like, you could tell sometimes, like... Well, you will tell when I do the edited video that there are some dialogue pieces that are very crisp because I can, like, lean into the mic like this and talk straight into it. There's no feasible way for me to set up this microphone where I could see my screen and you guys can hear me well. And that's, like, that was a conundrum a few months ago when I'm just like, the sound sucks and I'm putting up all these foam pads and I'm like, ah, it's still decent, but it's not where I want it to be. And I'm like, that's just, that's just the way it's going to be, really. Uh, unless I can find a way to, like, maybe get, like, a separate boom stand that I can put to the side and I can lean into while seeing the monitor, it's just not gonna happen. It's gonna cover, like, a third of my screen. I don't know how streamers do it. Like, I, don't, I really don't know how it's done where, like, you can have something on the screen. He's dead, by the way. You can, you can have a game on the screen and, like, have the microphone around your face so you can hear, like, it's gotta be, like, an underhang thing, like, down here. But the way this Yeti works, that's not something you do, and I don't think you can set the like that. It, maybe it might be the matter of just getting a different microphone, but I already invested a piece into this. I mean, I guess I could like sell it to one of my marketing friends at work because they, they could use this for their videos. Marketing team. I'm not a marketing major. I could have been because th there's, there's a reason why I wasn't because there's a little bit of a stigma in my head there. But my marketing team is doing um product related videos. They only did one demo and again, I'm just learning Sony Vegas so I can't comment on the type of video that was made. But the audio quality... Legit felt like something out of the 90s, 80s infomercial. I'm just like, yo. I'm not sure if the, the big daddy company wants to or allows us to, but if need be, like, we should fork over some cash for a nice microphone because good sound quality, it wins them over, you know? Anyway. Um, summon a Death Knight? We know that guy is great, but we know the vampire is just strictly better. Dude, fuck it. Give me the extra energy so I can summon stuff easy peasy. Buffing everyone up by one strength. If I lose this run, dude, I'm gonna eat the whole bottle of mustard I have sitting next to my desk. No holds bars. <laughs> it's a threat I use this weekend with my friends, and I call it a threat just because it's like more of a funny gaff. But like we were playing a lot of like uh, League of Legend A Rams, and again, if you don't like League, hey, eh, that's fine. I I get it. I don't really like it that much either. 
It's easy to turn your brain off and play an ARAM though. But we're playing a bunch of those and we went on like an insane loss streak. And I get pretty like down when you lose in a game like that because you invest some time and then the other person is like, GG, easy. I'm like, listen, I know it's some like, you know, 12 year old Korean pro right now, but like still, I'm, he's got me. He, I can't say anything. He's, he's right. I lost. It still irks me to no end, but it's like, fuck this kid. So, after like a, a many many game loss, like a three, four, one week and we had like nine in a row, I'm like, oh boy, I can't wait to go to work now. Is <laughs> the dang truth. Um, where's it going? Yeah, I, I did like a air quote threat where I'm like, alright guys, that's it. I was eating a sandwich earlier, so I still had a mustard bottle next to me. Just slammed it on the desk, I'm like, if we lose, I'm gonna down this entire bottle of mustard. And everyone's like, oh shit. It's time to step up. Tim's about to down the entire bottle of mustard. I'm hyping this up way more than I should just because it was, again, more of a gaffe, but like, all I'm saying is, we won the game after. <laughs> we won that game right after, and it felt oh so good. And I also did not down the bottle of mustard, so that was good for my colon. I seen the exact words I told my friends, I'm like, please think of my colon or I'll down this entire bottle of mustard. And I referenced it like twice in the game, it was funny, it was a good gaffe. I feel like those, like, I should record me and my friends playing Lee just because, um... It's very energetic compared to this. Slay the Spire, you can only be so energetic because it's a card game. It's more of like a podcast thing. And that, I'm doing like high energy, like eeeh noises and like the, you know, the hilarious things that happen. It, it, it could be more entertaining. It's just, I don't think I want to put league content on my YouTube. It's just the way it is. Like, it's, it's already oversaturated and like, I don't want like, not to be mean, but like, I put like Lee content on the YouTube channel and then like some Lee people come around and then I post Slay this part like where's your league video? It's like what do you mean where's my league video? It was an edited piece. And I'd be like, I hate Slay the Spire, and then that's when I cry. I'm like, huh? But I love Slay the Spire. It's it's very mean of you to say that. And then I'll be like, alright, because I'm go about my business here. You block, you block, you block. It's a variety of reasons why I don't do league content on my channel. It's just that might just be one of them. I just I just don't want to do League on the channel. What can I say? I want to do roguelites and more. And in this case, it's roguelites and Risk of Rod. But don't worry, Risk of Rod will not be going anywhere soon unless my friend becomes so busy with his master's degree that I cannot, you know, continue. And that's right. My boy Rod's getting a master's degree. He's got a big brain compared to me. He's gonna go places with it. What's the master's in? It's in physics, I believe. He's a smart individual. Smarter than me. Smarter than me. And anytime I mention that to someone, they're like, Hey, but you're good at games, Tim. I'm like, ah, yes. Timothy is good at games. Just in time for his resume to be spruced up. Tell us your skills. Hmm. Play a lot of games really well. Let me tell you. It's like, ah, oh, yes, I see. McDonald's it is. Oh, there's nothing wrong working fast food. But there is a problem with the, the price that is paid, and it's not like a human living way. And I get there's an argument made. Okay, let's not spin around here, but, you know. Same. Pay people more. They'll be happier. And give them more vacation time. Tim for President 2020. Uh, I don't know what I want here. I don't think I want any, but let's just... We got like a negative energy to build going on for once. Let's give it a spin. Uh, the Joust. Bet on the Murderer. Blood money. I think I, I bet on the, the good guy once, and I won, and I'm like, dang, that's cool. Don't remember what was said in the dialogue, just because it was so rare and I clicked through it so fast. But, you know, just take the safe bet is what I'm saying here. Suck him. Block them, block them, block O's of modern life, and you smack them up. That's minimal damage to us. We're still good. Uh, yeah, one of these, one of those, one of these, one of those. Should have definitely blocked more. Just being a little lazy there. It won't really matter in the long run, grand scheme of things. We're gonna ice this fool here. In a very. Blase favorite. Bone shift. I don't think I've seen that card. The art for some of these cards are really cool. Let me let let that be said. Like the art in some of these cards are really, really cool. So I should I should have done blood magic if I was taking things like death coil, because then I can really just siphon my life. I feel like that might lead to my death, but bone shift, yeah. So it's like a bone negative energy build right now. Yeah, it's cool. I'm just looking at the clock right now, making sure I have enough time to continue about the gameplay today and then uh Still uh, get ready for the event this morning and then this evening with sushi. It, there's a lot of time. I just want to make sure I drink up or bring up some uh, energy drinks, some bangs, if you will. If anyone don't, okay. Energy. There's a whole like energy drink debacle. I feel like sometimes among my friends group, maybe among many friends group, where it's like, hey, yeah, I'm drinking energy drink, and again, 
And anytime you mention like food, nutrition, health, or like what you're eating, what you're drinking, it's like, are you sure you should be drinking that? Be sure you be safe. You know, make sure you drink a lot of water. It's like, I get it. I get the concern. Again, I'm also a 25 year old male. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be downing like six energy drinks and like you know nothing else for the day. I'm not. I'm not a child. I get the concern. I really do. It's just. I can't, I can't sometimes talk about like eating or drinking something without some sort of backlash. Like one thing, and Reddit all agreed with me because I was browsing Reddit all. Hamburger helper, tuna helper. Nobody at me ever for these foods. I, I love these foods and I get they're the poor person food, air quote. But guess what? It's tasty. It's nutritious. It ain't no double cheeseburger from Burger King, McDonald's, or the Carlos Jr. It's just a good meal. You take the beef. You cook it up, you don't got beef, boom, tuna. You know how much tuna cans cost? Like 69 cents a piece. It's a cheap, easy meal, it tastes fine, don't at me. I like my tuna helper. Mm. I grew up eating that stuff all the time, and then I, you know, when I got to like, you know, high school and later college and realized that's like the poor class food, guess what? I already knew I was poor. At least we got some good food down here. By good, I mean decent, because it's, again, it is tuna helper, but it's, it's tasty enough, and I don't want to have any hoo-ha about that. Tim, no one's coming at you for liking tuna helper. Again, I point the conversation back to some of my friends and I say, do I? Do I really have no one coming at me about that? For the most part, no. But there's my rant on tuna helper because it's a good food. Let's not beat around the bush and like, you know, do a bit here. Tuna helper is not bad eats. That is fine eats no matter how you slice it. It, it is. Like, there's nothing wrong with tuna. Like, you know. Not naming names, and this is more like, this is not me being mean, this is just me making a jab at a friend, but it's like... I mentioned Tuna Helper to him, he's like, ugh, Tuna Helper, I'm like, what do you mean, ugh, Tuna Helper? It, you get, it does what it says on the tin, as far as I'm concerned, and it tastes just fine, it's like, you know, listen, we all can't be having a high class, you know, mama goat cheese every day, you know, neither does he, because he doesn't do that, but it's like, there's nothing wrong with some tunas, dude. When we go to sushi, I get tuna, you like the I mean, actually he doesn't get tuna now that I think about it, so maybe he's got a, a point, and I'm just sort of amping this up for the bit. Yeah, no, I definitely am. I don't know. We've talked about, you know, the freaking glove hamburger helper, tuna helper more than I should have already. I guess that's just where my passion lies, as in, you know, cheap food products. Maybe I should have got a degree in that. <laughs> uh, Self-deprecating jokes again. All right, we're cruising through this fight. This is the first big smack he's getting on us, but because he keeps summoning up a bunch of goons, we have sustained ourselves a fair deal. And we're gonna continue to do so. I'm gonna let him summon some more goonness here because he dies next turn. So if I can bop these guys for four more HP, I'm going to be ecstatic to do so. Yes, yes. We'll bone shift just because we can. And look at that, 63 HP walking away from this guy. So strong. Some, some feedback I read on like the uh, Steam post was like, hey, this this guy's like a little out of place. Like the card art's good, but he's not. Uh, and to that I say, yeah, that's, that's a fair criticism, but I'm not trying to defend mod like all mod makers because I talked to one whole mod maker, but I get it. It's not easy to make a mod. Everything else is great. There's like one loose piece. Listen, they're not game developers. They're just doing this out of the kindness of their hearts because they really love this game as much as we do. All we got to say is thank you. I appreciate the effort you've done for the community. I love your mod. And you give him an updoot. Give him an updoot. Uh, what are we doing here? I think Toxic Egg seems like a right choice, so skills can become better when we grab them, like this one. Gonna grab this power card. This is gonna grab everything, because there's no stopping me now. Having such a good time having a ball. Uh, Whetstone? Yeah, you dude, energy burst. The strike could do without. Ultimately, it's fine. Let's get the bone armor out immediately. We have a bone negative energy synergy. We just need to get the one thing that lets us shatter our bones for a billion damage, and we'll be off to the races. Um, this is a shop again. This is a mystery? Yeah, it's a mystery mark shop, so we didn't, you know, plan poorly. We just didn't know we were going to get there. Dude, bonus the onus. We're going to take a bit of damage here. Nothing wrong with that, but we got a lot of bones in our back pocket right now. Apply negative levels, apply negative levels, apply a blood shield, apply a poison shield. Take no damage. Ensure everyone's demise. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Uh, we should not block here because we are fine. Let's use that upgraded strike that we were just heckling for getting. It's doing us a... An excellent job. A good solid. A fine solid. 
This turn, not as solid. It's actually just pretty goddamn annoying. Let's just call it how we see it. I'm gonna heal for three each turn. I can block five. So two turns in, this will give me a little bit more sustain than I was gonna get otherwise. I'll take that. We should be able to block all of this. Like so. And we've sustained six instead of blocking for five on the last turn, so I think we've come out ahead. We absolutely have. Good blocks right there. There's some good plated armor. There we go. We actually got a good bit of sustain back from that. Still not great, but again, I'm not really worried with this guy. Got a fireplace here. Tim, you're low on HP. Rest. Never. You will never make me rest in this situation. I will never rest to this character. Barring, like, you know, negative A. Okay, we might rest now, just because I'm dipping my hand in the honeypot here. Necronomicon. Do I even have a two-cost attack? I do. This is why we take negative energy burst, also because it's decent. Now you've got the onus to rest there, because the HP is a little lower than I'm comfortable with, but this guy gives me a bunch of things to suck, so maybe I could have rolled the dice there a little bit. Also could have summoned a Lich if we had gotten a, a little bit more of an informed draw. It's fine. You know what? Pop out a potion here. There you go. Easy sustain. You might be arguing there were better things to grab there. I would argue you are correct. And it's not really arguing, I guess, but I would state that you are likely correct. Still not concerned, though. Like, 15 damage, not a fear in my heart, Snake Eater. Alright, there you go. And then we get even more sustain, so we're gonna get 6 HP a turn. This guy's essentially doing 9 damage to us. We're already out raising him this turn, we're gonna get even more damage into him. Gonna give him the suck, gonna give him another negative energy level. The basic strike. That's all there is about it. What, are there other things to talk about? Yeah, dude. Literally, I, I mentioned it on the last video, but like I've been on just the general Reddit, like Reddit all looking at some of the top posts. There's a lot of interesting stuff there, I'll say. It, it definitely ranges, and again, I already mentioned like the whole Reddit roast me website or thread. There's another one that I'm not going to mention here just because, you know, I don't like giving it more attention than it deserves. And I guess it's not like it's there a bad reddit air quote even though the content there like has made me cry it's it's literally a reddit that like lets you know what you're getting into before you click it i again i take the onus on myself there be like yeah you know you knew what this thing was going to do like it says there's a chance of this chance of that that alone should be not ambiguous enough but uh, clear enough to tell you what reddit i was on i just disagree with it existing because like you should not be able to post some of the things that are seen there but again onus is on me for clicking the link it's like hey you may be perturbed by what you see here. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And then it, it was. And to be honest, when I went to this Reddit, I was definitely a younger lad, but learned my lesson real quick. But my main point is, the just general Reddit, this is how my friend um Gabe, like, he mentions how he burned so much time on... Oh my god. Hang on, my alarm went off. If for some reason that gets this video marked for copyright, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Uh, jokingly, of course, because again, it, the whole story there is that's why the other video has not come out yet. The edited one. Um, but now I understand why how he says he can, you know, waste so much time on Reddit is because I'm whenever I go to a Reddit, I'm literally viewing like it's video game related stuff. Some of the Reddit all pieces, there's some genuinely like heartwarming things in there that I'm just like, dang, dude, a little bit of faith in society. There's some, like, just, like, adorable stuff, and then there's just some, like, well, a lot of political stuff for a variety of reasons. You can imagine why. Um, but yeah, this, this is good stuff. Like, I literally saw, you know, there's, like, a red call Twitch live stream fails. There's a video of my friends that I cannot share with you guys here because it is technically offensive. It is offensive, but it's, like, hilarious. <laughs> I'm trying to phrase it in a way that doesn't make me seem like just an awful person. It's like, yeah, this is offensive, but it's also, like really funny so it, it's a japanese streamer that references um some dialogue from grand theft auto 5 and then it's like they, you know they don't know any better but at the same time it's like a youth moment for sure if you've been on the dread at all you know exactly what i'm talking about there but it ranges some stuff like that to like you know just repost of like you know some gifts i've seen when i was younger or just in general i've seen repeated a lot like there's the one gif where like it's the kid who's riding a bike and he like 
dry, rides up to his neighbor's garage and runs inside to pet the dog and give it a hug and then runs away. I'm like, I've seen this before. That's still fucking cute. It still puts a small smile on my face. I'm like, you know what, kid? You just, you, you felt so, yeah, he's being all sneaky about it. He's like, I just, just want to pet this dog. And then, like, I read, like, the Reddit comments. They're like, well, the story continues with a very heartwarming tale where the owner let the kid come over to pet the dog even more. And I'm like, dang. Look at you go, society. We're pretty shit, but you got some of that going on. Not to sound like the person that's like, you know, I've lost faith in society kind of guy, because I'm not trying to, like, be that guy. Even though, to an extent, do I get it? Yeah, I'm just saying. Some cute shit in the world, and it's good to see that. When, you know, separate yourself from, like, the constant, like, you know, what you hear from a media outlet situation sort of dealio. It's cute. That's what I'm saying. Reddit slash all. Quite the, uh, adventure. Oh, right, I have the, uh, card, so I still get some choices. Pandemic. Apply six poison, three vulnerable to the target, and three poison, two vulnerable. That's, that's excellent. Are you kidding me? That is absurdly good. <laughs> it should be illegal. How good all these cards are. You won't believe what he does next. Insane damage, illegal damage, 10,000 DPS, mega crit, please ban me for taking my family. Slay the Spire episode 56. <laughs> That's how you make a, a YouTube thumbnail, by the way. Follow those steps piece by piece. We're gonna take 19 damage here. I'm a little cheesed by it, but I am gonna get 25 poison to smack here, so can't be too upset. If we can get some blocks here, that would be excellent. There's a block, there's a block, there's a block. Everywhere a block. Mystical turn of play hand. He's dead. He's not dead. But now he's dead. Alright. Well, this has been a fun video here. We're rounding things out. And it's almost 9 o'clock, just about the time that I was expecting to leave today. Gonna go to Smith's and grab that energy drink like I mentioned. Prep up, see if anyone needs a ride. <laughs> Make sure I have my phone chart so I can get the ticket from my phone. I, I was told I don't need to print a ticket out. In this day and age, I don't think you need to print out a ticket if you have a smartphone. Like, let's be real. If I go to this event, they're like, where's your ticket, sir? I'd be like, what do you mean, where's my ticket? It's on my phone here. See this email I registered on? Look it up in your database. I'm gonna lose my mind if that's the case. Does Violent Necrosis do poison as well? Yeah, just fuck it. Let's give it a try. Try something new with this character. We're gonna be playing this guy for a little bit. We're gonna want to get some tests in all the cards, even though it doesn't really seem like a feasible or wise solution just because we already have everything unlocked we're just, just doing it oh this this would hurt yeah let's just do one let's do it to try out the cards although it's really hard when like some of the cards are just strictly better and they're not even like you know again you know 10,000 damage stole my dog youtuber type of talk here i'm saying it's there's some cards in this deck that are just strictly better look at that get me the violent necrosis i want to see if i can triple that or double that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Look at this. He's doing no damage. Let's see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? <laughs> That's insanely broken. Wow. Wow. What a character, dude. <laughs> Gambling chip is not what I was hoping to see. Dude, keep the negative energy coming. <laughs> Send no one ever. Um, no, this is this is hilariously great. Uh, we got our double fireplace right here. I'm just looking. Do I get anything else? It's exactly the same type of path. Three Jawmus Worms. Nothing wrong with this. Cards to replace? I don't think I replaced any of this. Thirty-two block? Yeah, no, that's that's nearly everything. Not quite everything, but dude, good enough as far as I'm watching right now. Twenty-two smackaruskis. It's doable. Done. <laughs> D-U-N done. Don't need the energy potion. Spectral walk is very good. That's a V-good moment right there. Whip out the V-good for that. If I ever get, like, the access to Twitch emotes on my, uh, channel, I'm gonna get some V-goods in the chat, please. That's gonna be one of the things I say. Just wait. It's gonna be... I mean, it's gonna be exactly that. Everyone, every Twitch streamer has their own, like... Can I get some something in the chat? Like, like I've been watching a lot of, again, mostly the VODs, because this guy streams when I'm at work. 
an individual named Dan Giesling. Perhaps you know him. If you watch, you know, the Northern Lion show, you know him. Also, if you watch Big Brother way, way back in the day, you know him. Dude's got some interesting way of speaking English. Do you think I've got an interesting way of speaking English? My friends think I have an interesting way of speaking English? I think he definitely takes the cake for like, dude, I don't even know what you just said, but I'm excited kind of thing. I think one of the things I hear, heard him say a lot is like, can I get some little, little brother spam in the chat? I'm like, huh? <laughs> just trying to be informed here. I'm like, what is this? Little brother spam in the chat. And then like, you know, I get the inside on the joke. I'm like, this is actually pretty funny. It, definitely an individual that, um, how do I phrase it in a way that doesn't sound mean? It's like, if there was like a, you know, a person studying program from like Harvard or something, I think you'd want to put Dan on the list just because he's quite the character, for sure. <laughs> I don't know if there's a nice way to say that, but like, all I'm saying is he's a hilarious individual and the way he speaks, if I ever spoke like that outside of my workplace, even though I speak like it sometimes in my workplace, people would give me the look like I'm on drugs or something. He's a funny guy. Definitely would recommend checking him out. On the, uh, it's like, what, he streams early early in the morning like 9 8 to 9 a.m my time which is pacific so hey it's a very eu friendly time i think it's cool and he's a fun guy he plays a lot of this tarkov game that i've mentioned before and still i'm on the background I'm like do i want to get tarkov i mean i could put comment on the reddit post right now to literally like get into a drawing and enter and win tarkov but like I don't even know if I just want to play the game. I, I'm, I'm definitely a stream monster when it comes to games. Just because growing up in a situation where you never got a lot of games to begin with, it puts you in a situation like, why, you know, why get a game where I can just watch someone play it? It's like, yeah, to an extent, that's fine. But then it's like, why don't you just play the game, you weird boy? Um, let's do the vampire here. Just because it gets us, it gets us consistent sustain. So we took 21 damage there, but over time we will be healing that right back. And we have so many, like, block abilities in here that we will more than likely be able to sustain a good deal of that back. Like, look at this. We've already got six back from the initial burst. This turn, I, I'll lean on. Um, it's not great right now. What's about to happen to me will not be great. Let's crank that down as best we can. We're taking 20. Hey. We've, uh, more or less paid our dues there. We're about to restain, uh, regain that much back. Nothing wrong there. Block it, block it, block it, bop it, twist it, pull it. Keep sustaining. We're at 40, we took a bunch of damage. I should have been drinking this like a year ago. I think we'll drink it now. There's nothing wrong with drinking it now. And here we go. This is the turn we've been looking and waiting for. The rest is history. We're just going to sustain ourselves up a great deal now. Because these invulnerability turns, we get to sustain even longer. Could Violent Necrosis, that will you know, lead to his demise on the next turn. He's already going to be dying in the upcoming turns anyway. No need to rush uh, a good thing here. Alright, block, 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 spectral walk. And there you go. I'm at 63 HP. We lost so much, just got it all right back. Character is broken. I'm apologies. I'm banging the mic a bunch right now. I'm not trying to. My head is just too big. Gotta keep all that knowledge up there, you know? <laughs> Suck them, block them, get some more of them. I probably should have done the poison instead. It's gonna scale a little bit better against this guy. There you go, there you go, there you go. Good looks, good looks. Do nothing else. And we're slowly whittling him down. Vampire Queen, Yas Queen, slowly stacking us up. Queen, uh, it's another Vampire Queen. Look at all this bonus armor another 12. Okay, we're at 82. I mentioned how Runic Dodecahedron is never a good card or relic to have in general. I think this might be the one character that would give you the exception to that rule. Just the dang truth, like, yeah. He's almost always at max HP. 23 down. Okay, we'll hit you with some of these. We'll hit you with one of these. We'll get some bonus armor. Get some bonus armor. Alright. Taking no damage. Sustaining right back up. And he's dead. Hit him with an energy bomb. Let's get this final fight on the road, shall we? Deals damage equal to the amount. Let's just get it. We haven't done this before. Let's just try it. We're fighting Woke Woke. I think we play a whole two power, so this guy's gonna be in for a rude, rude, rude awakening in just a moment here. Yes, 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 yes. And I guess the Toxic Smoke Screen could have been swapped out, but we played more or less the entirety of our hand as needed. 
Ja, ja, ja. Ja. Okay, taking 10, that's fine. If we have to rest before the final fight, no harm, no foul. Oh, would you look at that? We're taking no damage this turn. We finagle that in one of the best ways possible. He's got 13 poison on his chin. He can't crack the shell that is the Necromancer right now. He is unfazed by this current battle with the Spire Growth. Not a fear in his goddamn heart. Okay, I am going to take 10 damage here. It's because that's the way that one works. I can get an energy javelin. See what we have going on here. Big Head Lord. I think we're fine with his entire opening hand. Yeah, that's that's a fine start. Want to definitely amp up that negative energy. Does the necrosis actually do the, the slow as well? Because if so, yo, got some things to discuss right now. Is it worth to get one plated armor right now? I mean, there's really no downside to doing that in this deck. We have nothing else that's giving us uh, a big bonus for the bone armor, so just do it. Would have been an opportunity to go for a necrosis there. That's the truth. Oh, stomach. Why are you grumbling? We'll be eating later, bud. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't get an energy drink this morning if my stomach is feeling like this. I've been eating a lot less lately. Uh, have, lately. I've talked about that, right? I've eaten way less. Way, way less. Still eating probably too much for my standards. You know, I, I've mentioned it before. Like, I mentioned this brief piece to my sister once. She's like, I hope you're eating enough. I'm concerned for you. It's like, li listen, like, I am eating plenty. It's just, truly the goal is if I don't exercise as much as I should, because I go on and off trying to get the routine going. The hardest part is getting the routine going. But once you're in there, I think you're good. It's just, I don't exercise as much as I should be. Just saying the dang truth. So in response, just eat slightly less, a great deal less. I'm like, all right. We sort of offset that, and I know it's not technically the right way to go about it, but like... Literally, if I'm not exercising enough, then what else can I do outside of exercise more? It's like, eh, I'll just, just eat less. I'm still eating enough to like not pass out on a daily basis, otherwise, that'd be a different problem altogether. Hey, am I gonna die? No, we're not gonna die. <laughs> Had you go in there for a second, didn't I? He's gonna die, it's gonna happen. Nah, dude. Nah, babe, there's, there's like zero chance I'm dying here. You think I'm dying here? Doors over there. Okay, let's let's do a big bonus armor here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Snitch, yeah, trick. Thirty-three. Okay, okay. I wouldn't. I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't in a very precarious position. But the fight is now over, thankfully. Definitely went on longer than it should have. Uh, get me the hell out of here, please. Thank you. Cool. Dream catcher. Okay, but doing. Oh, it's E3 today! It's E3 Day Zero, how could I forget? Um, well, E3 is today and I'm going to be out. And that's, it's E3 Day Zero. Shit! Am I going to be streaming this week if there's E3? Shit, I want to I wanna watch E3. Mmm, I haven't streamed in like two weeks now. Let me know how it goes. All right, it's the Microsoft conference at one. So if it's, I think it's all the conferences. I just get the highlights later. It's no big deal. I really like watching E3 just for the game related stuff. But who knows? Try not to get too hyped over it. Okay. Uh, oh dang! Is no one gonna be able to make it? Awkward. Let's just mute this for thirty minutes to wrap up the bit here. Whirlwind of Bones. Shatter all. Deal three damage X times where X is equal to the amount of bone shatter. Add a negative energy level for every three hits. It's not that great actually. For what we're doing. Rest up. Buttercup, baby, just let me go. Poison pandemic? Nah, I think we're good. Alright. Starting off with a hand that could be much better, but we got the... That's a power? Shit. I think we still do it. Definitely want to be focusing down these individuals. Next turn, we're going to pop off one of these here. See what we can get out. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Na, 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 na. All right, we got we got the slow burn right now, so we'll be okay. That, that's a lot of block, by the way, but we'll be okay. 
Give it time. The negative energy will flow through them. Not not a great turn. Still not a great turn. Let's call it how we see it. Okay, let's get the Vampire Queen, Yas Queen out there and we should be fine. Oh, Siphon Strength. Huge. Right now, that's huge. Yes, yes, and then... 11 plated armor. I think that puts us in like a I'm safe position. So we can actually loop him forever, just make sure we keep our plated armor up, and that would be the end of that. Uh, let's max them up. 21, that's fine. Yeah, no, we're good. So get the bone stacked up, and the rest will take care of itself. I don't want to summon another Lich right now. I am just going to. That counts as a two cost card. How could I forget? That's insanely good. I've just pushed him. Summon the undead, quickly. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I, there's like a bit of a miss, actually. That's a bit of a big miss for the turn. He's doing 20, we're, he's doing 40, sorry. My mistakes, thank you Spectral Walk for existing. Negative energy. Bones, I did that in the wrong order. We're still gonna be okay, all right, yeah. And we're gonna sustain back, oh yeah, never have fear in my heart, guys. This character's so easy, what was I telling you? This guy's gonna give me some, like, energy debuff cards in my deck. I don't care. It's not gonna do anything. He's a chump. A chumpus. Block him. That's enough. Poison cloud him. And let the poison slowly whittle him down. There you go. There you go, kids. Good, good damage. There's the void I was talking about. 30 damage. Won't get applied. We have 32 block, and we put some negative debuffs on him. Hitting me is to your detriment. You're better off just running away, kid. Yeah, I think this is a fine time to do that. I don't even need to blood shield. I'm going to just to assert dominance. Okay. Ten negative ten energy. Like if you ever dare multi attack, you're making yourself look like a big old fool. Yeah, no, that's that's it. Like this guy is done and dusted. Cool. Well, thanks for watching today. I mean, we're doing a little bit early here. I'm not really trying to rush it. It's just, we're gonna win. I'm just, just giving you the dang old truth. We're gonna win. See, Wax, you ready? He's dead. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Apologies for missing a lot of videos lately. I'm The honest truth is, I just gotta slow down. Um, I wanna do daily videos, but some days, if you just can't make yourself do a video, I'm not gonna put out some dry and boring as hell content, even though some days we'll like that. Will be like that, I mean. But uh, some days you want to relax. Some days work kicks my ass and I just don't want to do anything. It's just the dang old truth. Just know in the downtime, we're at least doing something with it. We're editing to maybe get like some edited videos out there. Maybe we'll do an edited playlist from like streams or stuff with friends. Variety of that. Regardless, thanks for the patience. Thanks for understanding. Thanks for being here. Greymon. EV series. There's a few other individuals that have been commenting lately. I want to make sure you guys know that I know I see you. Because I always like your comments as well. Our new subscriber... Evangion, JP Lover, all y'all, whoever's not caught, Lurkers, the whole shebang. Was I recording? Hang on, this is the heart attack moment. Okay, good, we hit record. I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna get some energy drinks, we're gonna get this up and running, and I will see you guys all tomorrow, for the most part, barring E3, <laughs> for the next one. Take it easy, everybody.